can your phone replace your laptop? With Windows 10, that might just be the case. Uh, one of the new features in Windows 10, the mobile operating system, is that you can get a near desktop-like experience using just your phone, a big TV, and a little adapter. I'm going to show you how it works. This is the new Microsoft Lumia 950. It's one of the first phones to run Windows 10. Um, and right now, it's got this new, it has this feature called Continuum, um, which lets you basically create a desktop-like experience. So we're going to show you how it works. Right now, this is connected wirelessly uh, to this Action Tech Screen Bean Mini 2. It's a little stick that plugs into the side of a TV uh, via HDMI, um, and it receives the signals from here and then puts it up on the big screen. This it, is an accessory that costs $59. However, Microsoft is also making a wired adapter here. This is a nice little dock here. This is $99, and it has a number of ports on the back, um, and you can connect your phone via USB-C to this. But for now, we're going to show you the wireless version, which is even cooler. So right now, um, it says, how would you like to connect the wireless adapter? So I'm going to hit connect here. And right now, it's going up to the screen here. So we're searching for the device and connecting. And magic is about to happen, as it says. And here we go. So up on the screen, it looks pretty much like a Windows 10 desktop. Um, you have to forgive it, it's not quite sized properly on the screen, but on the lower right hand, lower left hand corner there's a little Windows logo which you can't quite see. You can close and open it, um, let's see, open it up, and then you get the little dock here like you would on your desktop. And how am I controlling this? This is uh, through the phone itself. It turns the entire screen into a touchpad. So I can scroll using two fingers like this, um, or just use a single finger to scroll, you know, move around the cursor. Uh, so let's say, for example, we'll open up Microsoft Word. And here we go, you get basically the, the full Word. It's a little bit stripped down from the desktop version, but otherwise it's pretty... Uh, here we go, here's my review that I've been working on. I've paired this uh, little keyboard via Bluetooth to the phone, so I can just start typing away. This is me typing on the Lumia 950. So you can see there's a little bit of lag, but it's not too bad uh, considering all the Wi-Fi signals in here. Um, one, of the other, one of the limitations, though, is that this isn't quite the full version of Windows, so you can't have more than really one thing open at a time. Uh, I don't think I have much here at the moment, so yeah, in fact, I don't have anything open. So you can, we'll open up a few apps here. We'll have the Edge browser. And we'll do that, and while that's loading, we'll go back here, and we'll open up Word. And why not one more thing for kicks? We'll do photos. So and as you can see, an app is all, all the full screen or nothing at all. Um, so, but you can switch between them by going right down here, and then selecting between different apps, um, like so. Now, one of the neat things about this is that, let's say I'm watching a video here. I can then go back to the phone and continue to do other things, such as, you know, maybe I want to browse through my photos here. Um, this is a great thing if you want to keep the kids quiet. You can show them a movie on the big screen and do, still do stuff on your phone. And then when you want to hit control again, you just hit the button there. It goes back to this touchpad and uh, you can, you know, going and controlling the screen. So that's a look at Continuum for Windows 10 uh, phone. It's really interesting. Let me pause this here. It's a really killer feature, I think. Um, it's still in its early stages, obviously, but one that really differentiates Windows Phone from Android and iOS. For Tom's Guide, this is Mike Prospero.